Welcome to the second episode of my new series called Ask a Piano Teacher. In today's video, I'm going to answer a question I get asked a lot as a piano teacher. Which should I buy? A keyboard, digital piano, or acoustic piano? I own all three of these types of pianos, so I'll give you the pros and cons for each one. Let's start with the pros and cons of buying an acoustic piano. Acoustic pianos have 88 keys and produce sound by striking steel strings with felt hammers. There are three basic forms of acoustic pianos, including the grand, upright, and spinet. Grand pianos are beautiful both in tone and looks, but they are the most expensive and they take up the most space. Uprights are less expensive and take up less space. They are the most common piano used for piano lessons. Spinets are shorter, more compact pianos. While it may seem a plus to have a lighter piano, the sound just isn't that good, and I wouldn't recommend buying one. The pros for buying an acoustic piano are Authentic sound. There's something special about knowing you're playing on an instrument that's made of real wood, strings, and hammers. Authentic feel. Piano students will have a greater chance of success if they've learned on an acoustic piano and built up the finger strength they need for more advanced music down the line. A beautiful piece of furniture. Pianos are often placed in main living areas in a house, so you may want to consider what it's going to look like sitting in your living room. A good investment. Acoustic pianos last for many, many years and can be handed down from generation to generation. Best choice for serious piano players. If you think down the line you may want to play advanced classical music or perhaps major in music at college, I highly recommend you spend a little bit more and get yourself an acoustic piano. Next, we'll move on to the cons of buying an acoustic piano. Expensive! Acoustic pianos are much more expensive than digital pianos and keyboards because there are so many parts that go into making an acoustic piano. Take up more space. Acoustic pianos are typically bigger than digital pianos and keyboards, so you want to take in consideration how much space you have available for a piano. Professional movers. Acoustic pianos are very heavy and they require professional movers to move them safely from place to place. Needs to be tuned. Acoustic pianos are very sensitive to temperature and humidity. They need to be tuned at least once or twice a year. No volume control or headphones. This can be a real disadvantage if you live in an apartment or want to practice while others are sleeping. Now let's move on to digital pianos. Digital pianos look like acoustic pianos, but they make their piano sounds electronically. One of the pros of buying a digital piano is that they are typically cheaper than an acoustic piano. It has all 88 keys. These days, digital pianos often have weighted keys so that they feel more like an acoustic piano. Digital pianos are much lighter than acoustic pianos, so you don't need to hire professional movers when you want to move it. Don't need to be tuned, so that saves you hundreds of dollars every year. Digital pianos aren't as sensitive with temperature changes and humidity, so you can use them in places like basements and churches without worrying about them going out of tune. You have headphone jacks, so you can practice in the middle of the night and not bother your neighbors. Many digital pianos have the ability to record. I use this feature a lot when I'm composing and making soundtracks. Digital pianos often come with additional instruments and drum patterns. This can make it a lot more fun when practicing the piano. Now let's look at the cons of purchasing a digital piano. While digital pianos have come so far in improving their piano sounds, they can't quite compare to the nuances of playing an acoustic piano. Most professional piano players can tell the difference between an acoustic piano and a digital piano. Digital pianos typically have a shorter lifespan than an acoustic piano. The technology with digital pianos often gets outdated within a few years of buying it. For instance, my digital piano still has a floppy disk. Digital pianos are often more expensive than buying a keyboard. 
you want to make sure you have an electrical outlet near your piano. Since digital pianos have 88 keys, they take up more space than most keyboards. Digital pianos are often not recommended for students who want to go on and play advanced classical music. Next up, let's look at the pros and cons of buying a keyboard. Keyboards come in models with 61, 76, and 88 keys. Here are some pros for buying a keyboard. Keyboards are a lot cheaper than buying a digital or acoustic piano. It's great for those people that want to try piano without making a big investment. Lightweight and portable. Keyboards are great for people that don't have a lot of space or people that like to travel with their keyboards. I love my keyboard here because it fits between my desk and the wall. No tuning required. You don't need to spend hundreds of dollars every year getting your piano tuned. Fun instruments and drum patterns. Most keyboards come with a whole bunch of instruments that can make playing the piano more fun. Headphone jacks. Most keyboards come with a headphone jack so you can practice the keyboard whenever you want to. Many keyboards have the ability to connect with a computer or an app using a USB cable. Now let's talk about the cons of purchasing a keyboard. Many keyboards don't have the full 88 keys. So it's possible down the line, when you want to play a more difficult song, you might not have enough keys to play that song. The key size is smaller. A lot of times on keyboards, the key size is smaller than the keys on an acoustic piano. So it may be hard for you later on to move to an acoustic piano. Weak fingers. Most keyboards are really easy to press down the keys. And because of that, you're not building up strength in each individual finger. And that could hurt you in the long run when you go to play an acoustic piano. Small speakers. Most keyboards have really small speakers compared to digital pianos. So you won't be able to get as rich of a tone using a keyboard as you would a digital piano. Some piano teachers don't allow students to use keyboards for piano lessons. So before purchasing a keyboard, make sure to check with your piano teacher. A lot of keyboards won't give you the ability to be able to play louder or softer based on how hard you press the key. So in that case, your playing is not going to sound as artistic as it would with a digital piano or an acoustic piano. Extra accessories needed. Most keyboards don't come with a stand, a bench, or a pedal. So keep that in mind when you're looking at the price of a keyboard, you may need to buy additional accessories down the line. As you can see, there are pros and cons to all the different types of pianos. That's it for this episode of Ask a Piano Teacher. If you have a question for a piano teacher, leave it in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and keep on playing.